I mean, I always tease my, uh, uh, you know, I teach at USC. My name is Tom Seidel. I'm the uh, host tonight. So I'm a professor at USC and also an animator. And, um, and I, I love telling my seniors, I say, look around the room. You're going to grow old with these people. <laughs> <laughs> Your husbands and wives will come. These are the people. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> so stay friends. <laughs> And it's true. It's like you suddenly look at people and you go, well, I know him 45 years, I know him 42 years, I know him 45 years. Like, that's just the way it goes. You know, that's, that's, that's the industry. But um, we just thought it would be a nice way to say goodbye, you know, because um, when our friends do leave, uh, you know, obviously the, the families will have their ceremonies, they'll have their services and things, and sometimes we'll go to them and all. And, uh, but then sometimes, you know, you know, we would like to say, you know, a little bit about the people that meant so much to us and we spent so much time with. Um, I think it was like after, usually, like when a, when a famous anime like Art Babbitt or Frank Thomas would pass away, and we do a, there'd be a big memorial, a big event somewhere. Um, it was, I think it was like in the, su in the summer of 94, or 93, uh, there was like four big deaths in one month. It was like Bruce Frailing, uh, John Hallis, Preston Blair, and Irv Spence. All in one month. And they're like, my God, each, each guy is worth a, a memorial to themselves, you know. And then, uh, and then we decided, okay, well, let's just save it up to the end of the year and do everybody. And we'll cover everybody from studio heads to trainees, <laughs> from old lions to, you know, newbies. You know, just like everybody's, as the Greeks say, you know, they're, you know, they're all one now. So, and, and um, we started doing this uh, at the Hollywood Presbyterian Church at the top of Highland, you know, the big church of the Eighth Ribbon, because I was at Martha Baptist who for that, that place. It's a, it's a wonderful place, but we found that animators get kind of squirrely and sacred. They want to tell naughty stories, you know. Except Chuck, Chuck is the only person who had no problem telling dirty stories, I like, guess. At Virgil Ross's service, He's standing in front of the altar and he's saying how Virgil met his wife. And he says, Yeah, he's got a dance. And he goes, Look at that skirt. I bet you can nail that one tonight. So so anyway, um we kinda uh, you know, we thought that by by moving into this little more, you know, uh, non denominational, you know, area, people could feel free to tell a dirty story or or a joke or anything like that. And just have have some fun. And, and remembering our friends. So the way we're going to do this is, I'll call. Uh, we go alphabetically. Although if you know if you need to go early or something, you'll let me know. Um, uh, uh, we should, um, uh, I'll call the speaker up, and the speaker will have you know basically like try to keep it to about three to five minutes at, at most. You know, it could be a, an anecdote, a reminiscence, whatever. I know some of these people would be loved. I mean, June Fred would talk about all day. Yeah. You know, Andy Hunter would talk about all day. Right? Like, you know, there's so many great people, you know. But, you know, uh, just so that we're not here till midnight, <laughs> you know, try to keep it like around three minutes. You know, that's usually that's sure around. Okay, so uh, the first person we're going to honor is, uh, is Sue Antipas. Uh, with, uh, um, I remember working with her at the information and it was a nice lady, so I remember her. And uh, yeah. speaking on behalf of Sue is uh, Zoe, Zoe and Antipas. Okay. 